I better give you a proper introduction if that's okay. Sure. A lot to get through. Perfect. Puppeteer, creator of the Show Me Show, author of 10 Minute Puppets and Box, podcaster. We could actually also call you a rising TikTok star at the moment. And once upon a time was a bear who lived in a big blue house. Noel McNeil, how the hell are you? I'm good. All things considered on this side of the pond, you know, it varies from hour to hour living in the United States or suddenly feeling like you're in 1930s Germany. But outside of that, we're, we're getting on okay. <laughs> well, there's so much comfort in Bear in the Big Blue House. And first of all, we have to say a massive thank you for speaking to us. I grew up on a healthy, balanced diet of cereal and Bear in the Big Blue House. <laughs> what surprises me initially is that you were auditioning for something completely different and then were called back. Oh, yeah, exactly. It was for this game show. It was this game show that had this sort of big feature similar to what, like, the plant Audrey 2 would be like at, you know, Little Shop of Horrors. And I was sitting in there going through the lines and manipulating it. And I kept thinking, you should just get Martin Robinson because Marty created the plants for the original Little Shop of Horrors. So I was like, you should just get him to do this because he's the guy to do this. And then I came back. And then that, that afternoon, that's when I got the call. No, we want you to come back and audition for one more thing. And they faxed me, yes, kids, faxed me the sides and the drawing of this bear and these little creatures and the smiling moon behind. I was like, okay, this looks cute. And so I went and it was like around five o'clock and I thought, this is just a courtesy call. They're not gonna. So I just said, eh, screw it. I'm just gonna have fun. And I just went and had fun and just raced around. And in the script, it called for him to like, you know, sniff the camera or, 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 or sniff the viewer. And that's when I decided I'm just going to jam the news all the way in and pull the nose all the way back out. And so I was like, and then that was a Friday. And then that Monday around six o'clock, that's when I got the call and said, we want you to do it. And I said, what? <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Had you any premonition, I suppose, of what it was going to be like, how much of an impact Fair in the Big Blue House would have on kids in particular and Dave, of course. <laughs> <laughs> No, because we were, we were doing, it was myself, Peter Lentz, Tyler Bunch, Vicky Eidner, and Jim Krupa. And this was really our first show because we always been puppeteers for other shows like Sesame Street. But this was like our time to actually have like our show and like originate these characters. And so we were just having fun doing that. And we had no idea as time went on how much of an impact. Although I did get to go to England a couple of times to promote the show on Playhouse Disney and on Channel 5. And so I remember being in the tube one day and looking across and there was this ginormous poster of Bear <laughs> across. And it was just like, I had no idea. And I heard he was particularly popular in, in Ireland. <laughs> he was, he was absolutely massive. Before we kind of get to that, where did Bear's voice come from? Bear's voice is pretty much at that time, I called it my Uncle Noel mode because I would always go to friends' houses and they would have kids and they'd be like, okay, what do you want to do? It's like, okay, we'll do it. And it's just that sort of like easygoing, whatever you want to do, go with the flow uh, kind of voice. And so it's when I went to audition, um, Peter Van Roden, the executive at um, Muppets at Henson, said, use your own voice. And I was like, what? It's like, but we don't do that with the Muppets. And he said, no, no, no. We want a nice, just calm, normal voice to kind of offset at that time, another very large creature who did not have that kind of voice and reaffirming that he loved you so many times. So they wanted to have sort of a different approach to this because Bear was designed for kids and their caregivers, the adults to watch together. And so it became this sort of rule that Bear's voice and all the adult voices were very distinct, clear, adult voices, but all the little kid characters like Tutter and Pip and Pop, they had very cartoony sounding voices. So that's why Bear, Luna, Ray, even Doc Hot had very clear, distinct adult voices. Yeah, and you can watch Bear today and get laughs and you could watch it as a kid and felt uh, was like a blanket of warmth around you. <laughs> Bear one stands for the blanket. So yes, it's, it's, it's perfect. And it's amazing how people I've been responding to my little like TikTok appearances and how they've thanked me for their, their childhood and how it's comforting to, to see their uh, 
childhood friend like back again because adulting is hard enough but the last five months have just kind of like put us over the edge so they have this character come back and just say it's okay you're gonna get through it you made it this far <laughs> you're still smelling good <laughs> um i know we've already touched on this um but have you it's not something you usually sit down and think about how great i am but have you <laughs> have you thought about how much bear meant to people and the joy it has brought to thousands millions across the world i think I think, well, when, when we were doing Bear, um, he had like, um, people would come out. I remember going to um, England one time and it was promoting the, uh, the new line of products. And we went to this mall, it was outside of London. And it was this really nice like mall. I can't remember where, but it was this really nice mall. And it was like, um, it was like about, like, I think four levels or something. Right? And there was like a little like stage. And, um, Bear, and Bear came out and I would do like a little 20 minute show and it was supposed to be like a meet and greet like afterwards, like, no, no way. Because the ground floor was jammed. Everybody was up on the railings, like hanging over watching. So basically Bear came out, did his songs. And then on the way back, he did sort of like the president's shaking hands along the line, just like <laughs> just shaking hands, hi, 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 and just, and just leaving. And then there was a Disney store in the mall they said that that day they did their entire Christmas sales. Like what they would have gotten for like the two to three months of Christmas sales, they got in one day because of Bear. And all the Bear stuff was sold out. Other stuff was sold out <laughs> because of this one, this one day. <laughs> and so the fact that those little kids now are all grown up and they're still like feeling the, the impact of this this fuzzy guy who owned a home is, is really, it's really gratifying. And yeah, it's like more than ever, like we need somebody like Bear <laughs> to say it's going to be okay. We absolutely <laughs> do. Uh, do you, you have actually a miniature bear as well? Is that, cust is that custom made? I guess like a quarter of his size, but yeah, he, it's handmade. It's, it's beautiful because I, I wanted to make it and I kept asking James like all these questions about the fur and the pattern and he finally said no just send me the fur I'll just do it <laughs> yeah so it's like so it's this guy here oh, Hello. My God. hey there <laughs> hey Dave my you've grown <laughs> this is free this is freaking me out Noel hello bear that's fantastic hello Dave <laughs> <laughs> you do smell good Wow. I don't mean to break the microphone. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's this, okay. This you is have like, da made Dave's ear. <laughs> there we I go. Don't, now we can say it. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe what I've just experienced there. It's like <laughs> a thousand, uh, no, a million memories have come flooding back. Uh, thanks oh, to, to Noel and <laughs> Bear. Um, we may as well talk to Bear as well and Noel about sure. the... The reason yeah, I didn't why the horn in, but yes, we go right ahead. No, it's great to talk to both of you. The Thank reason you. why we reached out was uh, Bear. You might be familiar with this. Noel, you might yeah. not be. Bear yes. in the Big Blue House crisps. Yes. What is this? I never knew about it. You sent me the picture. Yeah. But I never knew about this. This is very. This is very. This is very odd. And I gotta say, they're bacon flavor. Yes. Doc Hog would not approve of this <laughs> at all. <laughs> We can trace these crisps as far back as 2013, but not any further back. And then they disappeared off the market. And we, we've ran into dead ends trying to contact people. And we thought, you know who we need to contact? Bear. <laughs> well. Unfortunately, if they, if they even still exist. Actually, if they would exist, if you're going back to 2013, they're probably a little stale right now. So don't open the package. But I have no idea where to find any. This is the first I'm hearing of it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry that you never got to enjoy a packet of Bear in the Big Blue House uh, crisps because I didn't either. This was something that Dave brought into my life. I didn't even realize that they were missing from my life. And now that I know that they used to exist, I'm like, please, please, someone give us I know. a packet somewhere. I, I, want, I want to try them. I, I, I want to try them myself. This is great. Actually, Almost had things gone differently, there was a chance that 
that we were going to come to Ireland this summer and do like a, a, a Comic Con, but something happened, so <laughs> we couldn't do it. But maybe next year, you know. Paul yeah, Ross. please. I mean, maybe. keep us on the list. Yes, I'd love to love to see Ireland. In fact, given the situation here, just keep in mind how your immigration laws are and whether or not you'd welcome a guy, a bear, his award-winning author wife and their talented son as, you know, <laughs> newly ordained citizens of Ireland. <laughs> I think we can certainly keep that in mind 100%. Yes, I'll start packing. Thank you. Uh, we've taken so much of your time and we really... No, no, no. Believe no. me, I'm not going anywhere. I mean... <laughs> I know, like, but no, we, <laughs> we, we truly do appreciate your time and speaking to us uh, today. And I'm going to be really selfish because I don't know if we could ever get the opportunity again. Would it be possible to do the famous ending goodbye song? Oh, sure. Well, so it really doesn't mean much with me, but with our little friend here, bring him back really quick. Like, hello. Okay. Put him right God. here. Put it right here. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Get I'm not right. What are you doing? <laughs> right <laughs> there. Just leave it there. <laughs> okay. I think I'm just Made. going to uh, sit here and. Make sure that my jaw is off the floor as I witness this. Hey, this was really fun. We hope you liked it too. Seems like we've just begun when suddenly we're through. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Cause now it's time to go. But hey, I say, well, that's okay. Cause we'll see you very soon, I know. Very soon, I know. Sing, Dave. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye good, good friends, friends, goodbye. goodbye. And tomorrow, Rose just like today, today, the moon, moon the, the bear, bear, and the, the big, big blue, blue house, house will be waiting for you to come and play, to come and play, to come and play. I know. <laughs> no. And Bear, thank you so much. This has been an absolute dream. And Jesus, we have to get these crisps now or else. <laughs> what good exactly. are we? Exactly, exactly. Go, go now. <laughs> iRadio, live life louder.